right, guys, you're welcome. This is Trader Sebron here, and we are on the focus of Euro USD week 16. You guys ready to trade Euro USD this week? For those of you that trade Euro USD, you ready to trade Euro USD this week on week 16? You ready to trade it? Let's go. We're going to do the analysis that will help you get on the winning edge this week, week 16. Let's look at the chart. I'm looking at daily time frame right now. I'm looking at daily time frame right now. So I want you to look at it with me. Now, first thing is to understand where the market is at, where the market is going. And we can see on the daily time frame the market is heading up. It's an uptrend. All right. Previously, just to give you around the around uh, 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 what do you call it? An overview of what has been going on. Okay, let me just give you an idea. Pre previously, the market has been trending up high, right? So we find uptrend in the market, but the market failed to break this low. So this was a previous low that the market had, higher low, right? But it failed to break it. And then the market, we find the market retraced all the way to the zone, filling up almost 100% of the retracement, and then started heading back up. Now, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful sight. But we saw that this was a previous high that the market created before pulling back down. And then we find out that the market consolidated the Y here and dropped. And then created a pullback, pullback, and then push up again. Of course, all of these were market turbulence there. We have a lot of manipulations there. There was no proper structure on the daily. But we could see market created triple bottom. One, two, three. So at this one... We may have bought here, especially, especially those who trade in double bottom. You would have bought here and then got up over here. And then the market drop all the way down to entries again. That gives you another opportunity to enter the trade and then break up structure, pull back. Now, where is the break up structure? Right here. Market break structure, pull back into it, and that would have been your buy. If you didn't trade the buy here, this would have been the opportunity for you to get into the trade now and then ride it to this high by taking your first take profit right there, which obviously the market got off to. Now, remember this daily. I'm talking to swing traders right now. So now we know this, even as a day trader, you saw market break structure like this, you wait for the pullback. At any moment, you go to the, the lower time frame and start buying. At any pullback, wait for it and buy. Pull back, wait for it and buy. You just keep trading it up, right? But, well, now where we are is that we see that a break of structure has happened. So we have a first break of structure right there. So the market is still heading up. Now, finally, it took that out, but we saw a twist at top. So the market has given us a twist at top on a daily. What do you expect? A pullback. So we should expect a pullback. Now, let me mark out the zone so you understand it. We're expecting a pullback. But here is the major key area here, which is 119, 1800 around the zone. So, But let's, let's put this as a key area that you need to focus your attention to. All right. So we're looking at this zone already broke up. So this is your key zone now on the daily. All right. You're looking at this area of your key zone of your daily. So now price is going to take a while. Now, if you check, I just want to show you what it is. From here to that place is about uh, 100 and 200 pips. All right, great. Now, this is your zone of interest. Okay, this is your zone of interest. So we also have opportunity to put our trend line there because it gave us that opportunity to put our trend line there on the daily. So we have a big trend line on a daily. That helps us. And then we can put it on the channel if we want to, because it's also look like a channel to me. And now we have a beautiful, beautiful setup on looking at the analysis on the daily. This is nice. This is nice. So this is giving, me, giving us an idea of what to do. Now, the next thing you want to look at is the four-hour time frame before we make any reasonable decision. So on the four-hour time frame, we're looking at structure here. First, we can only sell. This is where the idea comes in. We can only sell when this structure is broken. We want to break up structure here to sell. <laughs> you get it? We want to break up structure here to sell. So we need to wait for price to drop. Come out of this, this uh, what do you call it? This channel. Break out, 
not only break out of the channel and retest, but break out and break structure. If it doesn't break structure, if there's a retest, don't sell it. You got to buy it because this might probably be a fake breakout. So when it breaks and it doesn't break structure, do not sell it when it pulls back. What I mean by that, if it break and come back here and then reject at this key and then start pulling back, do not, do not, I say, do not sell. You just need to buy it. Buy it if there is no break of structure. Buy it. As soon as price pull into this counter trend line in, buy it to the top. What do I mean by that? You want to wait for price to pull back? Hey, let me explain this so that you get it. You need to get it. There is a structure here. You want to see that price break that structure. If it doesn't break it, do not sell it. <laughs> oh dear. Do not sell it. If it doesn't break it, don't sell it. Because we want to see a break, a pullback before we sell, right? But if it doesn't break structure, do not sell it. So what does it do? Let's say it breaks the trend line, but it didn't break structure. And it starts pulling back up. Then wait for it to go inside this counter trend line, this trend line, and then get your entries. That's what you do. Don't buy from here because it could bounce off from this trend line again and then eventually break the structure before pulling back. That happens a lot of times. So you need to be careful. And then you look for your buys here. If it doesn't break, uh, if it pull back in, wait for another break, a break above, pull back, and then you buy. Take out this high and then follow the next trend. That's what you're going to do. So otherwise, I will advise you to do this. I will advise you to wait for price to maybe go back up, break this high now, and then when it does, wait for a pullback, then buy. A pullback might come into this trend line, and then you buy. Wait for that to happen. But if it does drop continuously and then drop all the way to this low, wait for it to break if it does. If it doesn't, wait for price action on the channel. When price react, buy it. Okay, that's when you should buy. Did you get it? Watch the video over and over again, you get it. Okay, now let's move to the next thing. What? What's next? Well, we're looking at price selling. If it's going to sell, like I said, we want price to drop to this low break of structure, pull back in. If it does pull back, then we target this one first, our target, second target, third target. So we should be targeting somewhere this low for price action. So if we're selling, then we should be looking at to sell to this low. Yeah, that's where you're going to set to before you get out of the market. So let's see how many pips that will go. I don't know how it's going to pull back, but I'm going to just measure from here to here. That's about 200 pips, 300 pips tops. Great. Great trade for week 16, right? To sell. But if it doesn't happen that way, guys, mind you, we're going to look for more buys. If the market doesn't come down, we're looking for more buys. Now, if you want to look at the fundamentals that affect this uh, this particular currency pair, you want to look at what the market owes. I think the major part that we will have is on Friday on Euro USD. We have Euro major impact coming in. Then on Thursday, we still have a little bit of USD uh, coming in to affect the market a little bit, but not that much. But on uh, Wednesday, we have uh, not not affecting at all. So you can trade smoothly on Wednesday, no problem, because on on Monday, on Tuesday, you also have a little, a little, little issues, but you're good. You're good to trade. So Euro USD is gonna be nice trade for last next week. Nice trade mostly. We have a Monday. On Monday we have a 1:30 p.m. that we're gonna be affected. So stay away from the market on Monday. That's it. Then on Tuesday you're free to trade Euro USD. On Thursday you're free to on Wednesday you're free to trade Euro USD. On Thursday you're free to no. You have a little bit a uh, small news, but you can trade it nice. That's all right. Then on Friday stay away from the market on Friday because it's all about Euro USD. So so you have about two three days to trade Euro USD this week. So get ready for it and catch the best of your peeps. All right. I believe you guys enjoyed this analysis. This is Trader Sebra here. Now, if you are not in our Telegram group, what are you waiting for? 
Join us in a Telegram room, link in the description below. And also, for those of you who are watching my video for the first time, hit the subscribe button, turn on the bell notification because you want to be receiving this weekly forecast analysis every week whenever we come up. And also, you want to get the right information about it, about it, about it, about it. So I encourage you to join. Join us and enjoy the ride. Thank you so much. And this is Trader C. Brown signing out today. Bye.